Hi everybody, this is Jess with another GIMP tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you some techniques that I used to make backgrounds for my XNA game Galactic Pilots. So let's get started by making a new image. Width 1280, height 720. This is the resolution for 720p. Your first step is just to fill in the layer black. Next you want to make a new layer. Transparent on top of your first layer. Now select the paintbrush tool. Switch your selected color to white. And for your brush size, select the smallest circular brush. Now click around the layer. These are stars with very low apparent magnitude. And when you're done with that, select the next biggest brush size the second smallest brush size and for its scale put it to 0.8 and as you can see these stars have a slightly higher apparent magnitude and I wouldn't do these as dense as the fainter stars. Okay. When you're done with that, select your first layer. Go to Filters, Light and Shadow, Supernova. put the radius to 1 and I'm just going to put the spokes to 30 choose a color and a spot on the layer and click OK now go to filters Reshow Supernova. Choose another spot on the layer and hit OK. Now you can do this as many times as you want. I think I'm going to uh, stop recording and start again when I've finished. Before I stop though, a few notes. You can change the color of your stars to add variety and you can change the radius to 2 or 3. I wouldn't do any bigger than that for our purposes. So I will see you in a minute. Okay, so I added more supernova stars and more paintbrush stars if you've done any number of these supernova stars close to the number that I have it might be getting a little messy around where the these uh, concentric circles of light overlap it kind of builds up and gets messy what you can do to fix that is go to brightness contrast turn the the contrast up just a little bit it adds a different look and kinda clean things up okay now I'm going to show you how you can make a moon so select your ellipse select tool check the box marked fixed 
make sure that the drop down menu has aspect ratio selected and that the aspect ratio is one to one now whenever you try to select something it will be a perfect circle and this is going to be the size of your moon so choose select a circle of the size you want and choose where you want it to be by just clicking and moving it and when you're ready go to filters render sphere designer that's filters render sphere designer and it'll come up with this so you have your layers of the sphere right here the default is texture and two light layers so the first light layer is a white color its position is negative fifteen for each of x y and z the x deals with the horizontal position y deals with the vertical position and z with the depth so negative fifteen x means to the left negative fifteen y means up negative fifteen z means towards you and then you can see where the green light the second light layer is a green and its position is fifteen fifteen negative fifteen so it's to the right down and towards you okay select your texture solid layer and for its texture instead of solid choose noise as you can see this kind of looks like a moon what you can do to make it more so is turn the turbulence up I'm going to do it to one and put the scale up to 1.6 now I'm going to add a new layer by clicking new this layer's type I'm going to change from texture to bump the texture type I'm going to change from solid to noise now I'm going to put the turbulence up to around seven and this is pretty much your moon um, I'm going to go back to the texture and just change a few things make the the turbulence higher maybe 1.5 and the scale a little higher maybe a 2.1 or something like that and when you're ready hit OK I'm just leaving the light layers the default go to select none okay I forgot something control Z undo okay until you have your selection but no moon make a new layer you want your moon on a new layer so transparent okay and move it to be the top layer there now you can go to filters repeat sphere designer okay so that's a uh, one way how you can fix a mistake <laughs> go to select none and there you have your moon now sometimes I just make something and then use it to guide me on what to make next take this moon for example if you've left the light layers the default like I have you see a green light reflecting on it you could make a green star to shine the light that this reflects the pictures wouldn't actually interact in that way but you can use what you've done to guide you on what to do next and it kind of makes it look like the stars actually being reflected so I'm making a new layer on top of every other layer 
go to filters, oh make sure this new layer is selected, and go to filters, light and shadow, gradient flare. Okay, this default star or gradient flare is pretty close to what I want. I'm going to make the radius significantly higher, maybe maybe something like 245. And I'm going to move the star down into this corner. Okay. Now you can go back to the selector tab and hit edit. And this gives you several different options to edit the glow, rays, second flares. And you can just experiment with all this. I'm going to move the hue, ro hue rotation of these second flares to 3. I think that's enough. Like I said, it's pretty good. So I'm going to hit OK. Go back to the settings tab. And I'm going to... Um, the second flares, if you noticed, we're going this way. I want them to go kind of at 130 degrees approximately. Um, this vector angle is what you can use to change to change the direction of your second flares. So I'm going to go back to the edit options and you can see now that these second flares are going in this direction. In case you don't know, on a Cartesian coordinate system and things like it, um, zero degrees is to the right and you go in a circle counterclockwise to get to 360 degrees back to the right. So 90 degrees is straight up, 180 degrees is straight left, and 270 degrees is straight down. So putting it to 130 degrees gave it something like this. Just going to hit OK and see if this is what I want. You can always go back and change something. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to leave it like this. I think that's it for this tutorial. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.